You guys remember D196 when I said it might be beneficial to take a algebra class before uh, you take that course? C955, Applied Probability and Statistics. Uh, per usual, I just took the OA and passed it. Um, this class is going to be kind of hard for me to, you know, say whether it's a hard class or an easy class because, honestly, a lot of whether somebody is going to excel in this class or do terribly is based on how good at math you are. Um, I've always kind of enjoyed math. You know, math, like numbers make sense to me. But uh, I realize it's not the case for everybody, and uh, I get it when people see say on you know Reddit and stuff like that that they've struggled with this course. Uh, I definitely understand it, and I even I struggled a little bit, and I've always been pretty decent at math. But it's been a very long time since I've done anything algebra related. So I started the class uh, Monday, and it's Friday, and I just took the OA and passed it. Um, a lot of life happened this week, I guess. Uh, realistically, if you're decent at math, you could probably pass the class in a few days. Um, but as, and I probably could have passed it in a few days, but just one thing after another just kept hitting me. And, you know, I only had a hour here or a few hours there to really, uh, you know, dive deep into things. So when I first started the class, uh, the first thing I did once I realized it was all math, like the name of the course is Applied Probability and Statistics, and for some reason I just didn't imagine it being a math class. Uh, I thought it was more like a type business class, like the probabilities of business, but it's primarily all math. Uh, but when I jumped into this course, the first thing I did is took the PA, and I bombed it. Uh, yeah, I didn't get terrible, you know, it wasn't like in the red, but I was... A good bit below the uh, approaching competency so I realized that I uh, actually had to do a good bit of studying so I didn't find the cohorts uh, when I first got on like just going through you can enroll in the live sessions but I always hate to do that because I always feel like I have to wait a week to get into it but as soon as I passed the PA my mentor emailed me uh, the list of like seven cohorts I don't know if you have to wait until you take the PA to get the cohorts but after I took the PA, didn't pass it, um, she sent me the cohorts, and the cohorts helped a good bit. There's so much material in the reading material. Uh, it's good to go through it, I suppose, but uh, if you're trying to accelerate through WGU, you're going to spend a good amount of time on this uh, reading material and the coursework, so I primarily watch the cohorts, as I usually do, or I have so far anyway, and uh, they helped out a good bit. Um, 25% here, I'll just pull it up real quick. 25% of this course is in the last section of it, which is probabilities. Um, I really kind of struggle with that. Uh, there is 22% in correlation and regression, uh, 19 and 19 in script, descriptive, statistic, and single variable and two variable. Um, and I did pretty well with both of those things, but for some reason, the probability, I just could not wrap my head around. Um, I wrote down a few tips that I'll read off to you guys, but for some reason, it just didn't click with me. There's basic algebra and fractions in this, and which that was fine. But uh, when I got down to like the statistic side of it and probability formulas, uh, for some reason, I just I had a hard time really wrapping my brain around those things. Now, the good news to that is, as opposed to the PA, the OA didn't have a whole lot of the probability type stuff in it. And if I'm being honest, uh, most of the PA or the OA was like paragraph questions. Like I don't even, I got my whiteboard and my calculator and I used them pretty minimally. Um, a lot of it, I mean, I did just add a thing up here or there, but a lot of them are like big paragraph questions. And I realized that you know, this is just my personal experience. I realized that there's probably multiple OAs for multiple different courses, but all I can tell you about is the one that I did. So, you know, maybe whoever watches this will get lucky and get mine, but if you get a different one, I'm sorry. But um, as far as does the PA and OA line up, they line up pretty well uh, just in key concepts really like if you get the key concepts of all the things on the PA and you did well on that then you should do pretty well on the OA on this one 
Now, as I've said in other courses, uh, as far as tips and tricks go, um, one of the biggest ones, I guess I would say, is again, I know I've said this, but it bears repeating, is to pay very close attention to the questions uh, because a lot of times it's the difference of one word. So in the probability equations, uh, when you're reading like a paragraph for a question, like give me the probability of, uh, if it's a group of people, you know, and 20% uh, buys cars and another 10% uh, sells something else, just as an example, if it's saying give me the percentage of the 20% that sells cars and the 10 percent that and is very important because that tells you that you need to use the multiple the multiply equation if that makes sense so and is always multiply or is always general addition like if it's saying uh what's the is what's the probability of the 20 percent one or the 10 percent one see that or means it's addition as opposed to you know multiplication which is and and there's a few things like that i mean if you go through the co cohorts that it'll tell you that kind of stuff and you know the things to remember in that but just with pretty much all the questions in this um there's a lot of times where it was like oh, you have to pay very close attention because one word got changed and that changes the answer and i know i said that in previous videos you know where it's almost some of these are kind of like trick questions but something that you should keep in mind with taking this math course and probably most other wg math courses i mean i don't know but i guess i will know is that it's not the same as taking a math course at a brick and mortar school like you're not going to have to sit there with a piece of paper and give them the exact answer you're going to get a multiple choice of four different answers so again uh you know process of elimination you can kind of find out maybe cancel out two of them and then you only have two to decide between so you know it's not as hard of a math course as probably most other you know university courses are I apologize if this video is a little rambly, but honestly, there's not a whole lot of advice I think you can give on this course. Uh, either you're good at math or you're not, and that's really going to dictate how long this course takes you. You know, some people would probably knock it out in a couple days. Some people might take a few weeks. You know, it just really all differs. But I mean, it's not an ex it's not a calculus class or anything like that. It's pretty basic algebra with a few equations here and there and things you need to remember on how to do probabilities and stuff like that. But it's really, I don't think, personally, that difficult. And it, like I said, I've always been decent with numbers, you know. So moving on, uh, I am on my last, that was my second last, uh, I'm about to start my last course of the term. So and for the GI Bill, you have to take 18 CUs to be considered a full-time student. Uh, and my next course is my last one for 18 CUs. And everything after that is just accelerating. So uh, technically... This next course is the last course of my uh, term, which is pretty exciting, I think. And that's really all I have. Um, again, I'll leave my information uh, down in the description, so if you want to reach out and ask any questions, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, I really appreciate everybody liking and subscribing and commenting, stuff like that, you know. Uh, I'm not doing this to, like, gather a following, I guess, uh, just to give something out there for people to, you know, help them through wgu and their experience and stuff i'm actually kind of enjoying like editing these videos and stuff you know it's a new experience and i apologize if you look at my other videos um they're uh, all grainy i'm not very proficient at youtube or you know even video editing or anything like that so i'm kind of trying to figure it out as i go along but uh it'll get there eventually i'm just gonna keep messing with it and looking up videos and how to do better and everything but uh, that's all I have, so I'll hopefully this next course don't take long, and I'll come back on here and tell you what that one was like. See you guys.